Hello everybody, I'm Davy. Today's video I am sharing with you how I've decorated three different vignettes of my home using three different requirements as this is an open challenge hosted by Aaron and Michelle. I will put their channels in the description box. They have asked for this challenge to do three different vignettes and um, for the first vignette we are to use pumpkins. Now if you've been following my fall videos, you've seen most of these before as um, I don't want to give away the rest of my home decor because my home tour is coming out on Monday the 21st. So I'm going to share with you places that are already decorated. Um, and hopefully it'll still inspire you even if you've seen it, but if you haven't, I hope you were very inspired to um, decorate budget friendly. So the first vignette is using pumpkins and that is on my table. I used white pumpkins I grew myself in my um, wooden tray that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $5. And then the pine cones are from my backyard, the eucalyptus leaves are from a 10 foot long garland I found on Amazon. So I'll put that in the description box if you're interested in that. I used a lot of eucalyptus this year in my home decor because I really have been liking the more neutral palette. Um, and then just for my table runner, it was a 50 cent garage sale find and I just really love kind of the um, vintage boho look of that runner. And then my plates and glasses and napkins are all things I've already had. Um, the plate chargers are from Dollar Tree from many years ago and they still may have the gold chargers, I'm not sure. But that first vignette used those pumpkins and I just think it's so cute so um, neutral and it could go in any house. Okay, the second vignette we are required to use orange. Now, I don't decorate with orange in my house a whole lot. I did last year, but this year I've really, really toned it down. Um, so I'm gonna take you outside actually for this vignette. This is on my front steps and I used orange mums. Now these mums were from Aldi and they are so beautiful especially when they're in full bloom right now. The sad thing with mums if you don't plant them almost right away they don't last so almost expect mums to if you just keep them in their pots to die after six weeks but I'm hoping to put them in the ground and have them come up next year because they are hardy. So these mums are so beautiful and I just love the pop of color how it draws the eye in to that area. And then um, they were only like $3, around $3 at Aldi. So then the corn stalks I grew myself, the pumpkins I found from a local farmer, um, the crock was a garage sale find for $25. You've heard me say that many times now if you're an avid follower of me. Um, and then just other thrifted items that I've used for this area. But I really think that pop of orange with the mums just pull that eye in and say, yes, this is fall. All right, the third, third vignette, we can do whatever we please. So I am going to do sunflowers. Now I grew sunflowers myself this year and I had like three or four giant stalks and both of them ended up blowing over. Two of my biggest ones blew over in the wind but they still grew so beautifully. So in my kitchen sink, um, in my kitchen home decor tour, you've seen this, I used sunflowers just to pull in that color. Um, since everything else was pretty neutral, I just thought that yellow, gold, um, mustard color of the sunflowers was beautiful. And what does it say fall like homegrown sunflowers? And then I also used sunflowers in my back porch decor too. So. Really that's kind of two different vignettes, but using the sunflowers. And nothing better than growing them yourself. If you are able to go out to the country and find all of them in the ditch and cut them, go ahead and do that, because you can use those. The one thing with sunflowers, they have lots of bugs. So definitely shake them out before you use them. I just love that yellow of a sunflower. And so those are my three vignettes. I hope you enjoyed this. It was kind of just a quick little video of different areas I've already shown you, but if you haven't seen them, like I said, hopefully you can find some motivation and inspiration to decorate on a budget. Thanks Erin and Michelle for hosting this. I had fun joining you on this open challenge and collab. So 
stay tuned for a video Monday. Usually I post Tuesday, but um, it's going to be Monday for my fall home decor tour. And give this video a thumbs up for um, budget-friendly thrifted decor. So I'll talk with you in the next video.